In this video lecture, we will learn about ECG changes in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is one of the most common inherited cardiac condition and number one cause of sudden cardiac death in young adults. Let's look at the question. This ECG was taken from a 30 year old man who presented with exertional lightheadedness and palpitations. What can be the most probable diagnosis? So, we are looking at a ECG from a relatively young person. The first characteristic finding we can see is very high voltage QRS complexes. It's almost difficult to ignore. The second thing you see is the Q waves. In each of the ECG, if you see these Q waves are almost you can say as dagger like. Dagger like Q, uh, these Q waves are characteristic of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Let's look further into the ECG. Now, we know that dagger-like Q waves marked by black arrow. So this is almost look like a dagger-like Q wave. So we know that there is a pathological Q wave. And typically, while Q waves, pathological Q waves are seen in uh, infarction also, but they are, they are relatively broader. In this case, in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, they are narrow and deep, which almost looks like a dagger. And the second is increased precordial voltages and non-specific ST changes. You can also see left atrial enlargement, signs of uh, WPDW syndrome and dysarrhythmias. Let's look at another ECG on hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So this is again, one thing you can see is the QRS voltage is very high. Second, you can see is this left atrial enlargement. If you see the P wave anywhere, let's look at the rhythm strip to understand the morphology of the P wave. So you see a typical P mitral kind of a P wave. So this again was a ECG from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Then there is another atypical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Uh, this is typically seen in Japanese patient and they have a localized hypertrophy of left ap apex causing spade safe configuration of left cavity and the finding which you will have is giant T wave inversion in all the you know leads in all the precordial leads now such kinds of giant precordial uh, T wave inversion in all the leads can also be seen in increased intracranial pressure that are called cerebral waves but you can easily differentiate between the two by a clinical history so, if the patient is having a cardiac clinical history, then obviously it will be an atypical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. If the patient is having signs and symptoms of increased intracranial pressure, then it will be cerebral T wave. 